when i was uh, appearing for vrc uh, that uh, now vrc is not happening the thing is not all three sections are going to be very well you're supposed to get disheartened if you're not scoring well in one section you're supposed to which section is going to give you the most returns uh, you might when you're scrolling website see that there are some formulas for quant i would say that don't really run for formulas okay they can always change the basics of the questions and mess your question you might get confused approach quant uh, quant problems from the basics and they will always get you there Hello everybody. Welcome to the Baiju's exam prep channel for CAT preparation and welcome to yet another spotlight session. Today we have something very very interesting in store. We've got a student who actually never ever thought of the CAT exam, decided a few months before CAT that okay probably this is also a plausible career option, went ahead put a best foot forward and guess what? Ended up with a 99.96 percentile and is on a way to the hallowed halls of IIM Ahmedabad. Join me to welcome Snigda. Hi, Snigda. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. So, Snigda, first and foremost, okay. Uh, I don't remember the date exactly, but you might remember the day when that congratulations came on that email. Uh, I guess it was 15th April. See, I told you. I knew you would remember. <laughs> so, the day that congratulations came, what did you feel? What was the you know mahal at home? What yeah. was the reaction? So yeah, we checked it in the evening, and my parents and my brother were just silent. And then yes, and then I opened it, and it was like congratulations. I didn't, I think I didn't even read the uh, entire message. I was like, <laughs> "Ho gaya mera." <laughs> so yes, we were elated. Also, it was the first institute to declare its results, so we were also relieved. We were like, "Now rest five, fine." <laughs> <laughs> Ho gaya. The main Ho, one is yeah, done. Yeah, the main rest one is matter. done. Yeah. So this is where I want to go. It's yeah. all done. Lovely. Quite interesting. So think that like I was talking about right now, you know. You're one of those very few. Generally, people say it takes two attempts, three attempts. Oh. Some people prepare for twelve months, eight months, ten months. You're one of those who actually did not prepare for a long time, and your story is slightly different. So let's actually start with that point, which is, yar IIT se ho, bahut acha background hai. Academic background is stupendous. Why did you make this shift into MBA? See, um, so like uh, the system in IIT, how it works. Uh, after uh, your second year, you have to appear for internship interviews, and from uh, in third year, uh, summers you have to go for internship. So uh, since I'm in, uh, I like uh, I'm a graduate in electrical engineering. So my options were either IT or IT consulting. Uh, now um, both of them uh, either didn't work for me or I did not want to get into them. Uh, so I finally landed up with an internship in an um, electrical company, like an electronics company. Uh, over there, it was it was a good experience, but I was like, I don't want to continue this like as my career. So I was like, chalo now now what am I going to do with my life now? So fine. Uh, so yes, uh, you now start searching for exams which you can append. You are like, fine, let's go for CAT. Interestingly, I was also watching this uh, web series called Panchayat over there, oh, okay. and, and that uh, protagonist of that um, web series was preparing for CAT. So even that struck up, and I was like, "Fine, let's uh, try for CAT." So that's how my MBA began. Lovely. Actually. So basically, your answer to why MBA is process of elimination. Yes. Four options are. गलत 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 एक ही बचा दैट हैज टू बी द राइट आंसर एज सिंपल एज दैट आई मीन दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच आई थिंक दैट मेनी पीपल डू अप्लाई इन प्रैक्टिस यू कैन डोंट ऑलवेज हैव वेरी फैंसी आंसर दैट यू वांट टू चेंज द कॉर्पोरेट वर्ल्ड यू वांट टू डू दिस एब्सोल्युटली and you know the, this is very interesting because this will probably uh, give a lot of confidence to a lot of students out there who are thinking yaar i have no fancy answer yes. i have no pors yes. i have not done any extra curricular co curricular mai mba kaise kar sakta hu yeah this is an example that you know all of that is not needed at the end of the day get a good percentile yes have a good interview just go ahead and state for me at this point in time this is the best possible option yes it's process of elimination works just like it works in quant and cat yes <laughs> it, it does it does right it does yeah. you have to get to a right answer it doesn't matter which methodology process of elimination gets you there gets yeah. you there as simple as that lovely yeah. so yeah so you know uh, a very interesting answer what you just gave but um, so let's get deeper into your preparation okay so very late into the year you suddenly realize acha theek hai cat process of elimination kar liya ye karna hai and you know you're just talking outside and you were uh, sharing few uh, you know very interesting anecdotes with me about how your preparation started so why not uh, so why not get deeper into that as to what your preparation was like and how it kick started yeah so i started it in june and i began with varc so now varc was sort of a nightmare to me because i wasn't able to score very well in that for me like i think some of you might even relate to it either the four options looked absolutely similar and correct <laughs> or they seemed absolutely incorrect there was no in between that okay i can eliminate these two and these two might be there even in arranging it used to be confusing it wasn't your elementary school english absolutely. anymore 
so fine we are see i did give in a few weeks like uh, i guess two weeks or so and i was like no yeah it's not working so fine i paused it for uh, one week and then my mom said that no you start again no start with a different section so then i began with lrdi another mistake of mine so <laughs> then again it was like fine i'm able to do it it's better than vrc but not what you require for a cat fine so again i was like now vrc not done lrdi maybe but no fine i left it then in august i went to my hostel okay and over there one of my friend was preparing for cat yeah. and over uh, there we were just casually discussing about cat and she was like you know in vrc i have i see this problem that they look similar in lrdi also i'm not able to make the tables oh, wow. and then i was like fine so in a sense it's not only me who's facing this problem many people face so Correct. fine i gave it one last attempt i picked up quant i and it was super it was best and i was able to score like a uh, 50 plus marks in that So I did some just uh, in one section. Yeah, just in one. Just quant. That's yeah, it. Yeah, that just Lovely. in quant. So then, um, if you do some sort of analysis, you did realize that you're in around one zero eight, one ten marks. So you looked at the previous year papers. You did your analysis yeah. and you realized perfect. One ten marks to score ninety nine point five, ninety nine point six percentile. So I was like, fine, fifty percent marks I'm getting from quant. Rest fifty I have to manage from VRC and LRDI. That was in August. So now, um, in August, uh, I uh start putting up more uh, uh hours into LRDI and VRC. In around three four weeks, I realized that VRC is sort of I won't be able to cross probably thirty max thirty five. So I have to put in efforts in my um LRDI. Yeah. LRDI realized that if I'm going to invest some hours, I'm going to get proportionate returns for sure. So that's when I started uh, putting in more hours into LRDI and VRC was sort of like I have to clear the cutoffs. It can't sink. I can't allow it to sink me. I know it won't um, keep me. It won't uh, do best for me. But uh, I can't allow it to sink me. Sure. So it was something like I have to just sail through it. LRDI and quant would get me there. Lovely. So basically, you know, it's a very nice example of. No need to be jack of all trades. Yeah. Be be master of one, and the other is about there. And the third, clear your cutoff and you're you're done, right? Yeah. And ninety nine point nine six, no joke, right? <laughs> Among the top what fifty seventy students writing the CAT exam out of two lakh plus students, so spectacular effort. So it did work out for you. And this is actually uh, you know a very nice input for students as well that. uh you might be good at english for example huh. focus on english yes the other two sections get 50% of the marks and the second important thing that i heard from you right now was the analysis of previous years wherein you knew so if i got to use a cricket jargon i don't know whether you watch it or not but a little bit of cricket jargon it's on your face you don't watch it it's like i'm chasing a score it's not like i'm batting first but i'm chasing you already knew 108 to 110 chahiye yeah. and you already knew when i'm chasing ye do bowler ko main pitne wala hu in do bowler se mere ko runs milenge baaki se mere ko kam chahiye and that is what quant was for you yeah. ki yahan se mere ko mere milne wale marks baaki se kam aayega lovely yeah. i think quite interesting what about mocks you know uh, uh, we were talking outside and uh, you you spoke something very very interesting about the word syllabus so le- let's let's get into this part which is uh, mocks and syllabus because i hear this a lot and you know i've asked this of every uh, you know in every spotlight session of every topper i've spoken to yaar every student comes out and says sir syllabus nahi hua main mocks kaise likhu syllabus nahi hua mocks kaise likhu What is your take on syllabus and mocks? See, um, like I spoke about my background, so I've appeared for a plethora of exams. I've appeared for GST, SC, NT, SC, KV, PY, J, and then of course there was CAT. Now in these J, NEET, and all these exams, you have a syllabus, which means that you need to be knowing some things prior to when you are appearing for the exam. For example, if you are appearing for NEET, you need to remember your biology stuff. If you are appearing for your advanced, I can say you need to remember your inorganic chemistry. If you are appearing similarly for KVP Y and all, you need to be remembering your formulas and other physics concepts. In CAT, it's simple. You don't need to remember anything. You have, for your convenience or inconvenience, you have made a syllabus. But in a sense, how can Quant have a syllabus? How can LRDI have a syllabus? You have bifurcated into a tournament uh, type of question or a arrangement type of question. But in a sense, they don't really have a syllabus. So when you are sitting in front of the screen. You don't need to remember anything. You can just derive everything on spot. You can Absolutely. make the table on spot. So, in a sense, if you think that if you have not um, done the syllabus, so you can't appear for mocks. Well, there is no syllabus for Absolutely. it. Absolutely, uh, on spot. I mean, I'm completely in sync with you. Basically, what you're saying, no syllabus. Yeah. Just practice. Just pr- practice as much as possible so that your speed increases yes. and you're able to attempt. Points. It's just practice which is going to count. 
absolutely so uh, completely in sync with that so very interesting so you know basis this methodology you started you realized 50 percent aa jayega coin se remaining 50 percent from the others and you ended up with a huge a very high percentile and you know when the uh, scorecard would have come out or even before that the response sheet came out i'm quite sure you were confident ki chalo i've done enough because response sheet se you would have calculated yeah. your marks and you knew so first week of december tak you knew yeah then starts stage 2 which yeah. is actual game changer yeah. right stage 1 you said not very difficult easy math ke wajah se hmm. sail through but stage 2 is very very different yes. and people don't realize that yes. they ensure that all their focus is on stage 1 and then stage 2 suddenly you know comes up so what was your experience there how did you go about it what was stage 2 entirely like for you so yes like so uh, for like for example if i talk about cat uh, you don't really need to put Like for example, ten, twelve hours into it. Like suppose for you're supposed to put for J E and all. So yes, for interview also I was expecting like fine, it would sail through, ho jayega. But then uh, when you start, uh, when I didn't even know that how you're supposed to prepare for it. I was just like I'll go for interview and they'll ask me questions. I'll give <laughs> I'll the answer. answers. <laughs> Realize that it doesn't work that way. So I started uh, scrolling down question. Uh, I started looking up for questions online. That like, oh, like the past transcripts of students, and I was like, fine, electrical fresher. What did they ask? Then you are like, ha, I know this. I know this. I know this. Then started my mentoring phase, and over there, less there's difference between you knowing and what you actually speak. Just like in Viva, you Absolutely. might be knowing, you are not able to put it in words. Absolutely. how you express yes how you express team. also suppose you have three interviews in front of you and you are just like i have to maintain eye contact with mm. everyone also i have to explain everything to everyone also they might put up some expressions i am supposed to analyze them and what what I, what do i do now i am also supposed to control my words because wo- i am just giving them fodder whatever absolutely. i speak they might catch up on that question. so absolutely so yes yeah, so uh, realize that uh, you actually do need mentoring for example in cat you might be able to do it alone but for uh, gdpi you definitely need mentoring because there are people who would be knowing that what all uh, what all people uh, students think that uh, how interview is uh, supposed to go how they actually go they tell you that uh, you have supposed to focus on these areas because this is your profile and all so mentoring is a must for pi i would say and how was your experience with the mentoring what is it that you took away from it what was the experience like so yes uh, my mentor did definitely uh, tell me that uh, you're supposed to prepare your current affairs and you're supposed to prepare your undergraduate subjects and all then he would ask me and then he would ask me really basic questions and i was like acha kya hota hai iska i have been solving numericals and now you ask me absolutely basic questions so yes it was a very very uh, different experience while mentoring because um, This is a sort of interview which you have not really given before. Absolutely, yeah. Interview, uh, MBA interviews are uh, very, very different. different. So um, yes, uh, it was more like a very feedback session that okay, uh, you were too fast. You are supposed to slow down, and then you are supposed to explain this, and then you are supposed to even expect cross questions. So when you are speaking, you are supposed to think that what am I giving way for? So yes, these Absolutely. were some things which I did take away. Lovely, interesting. So uh, you know, let's also talk about uh, you know if. Uh, During your entire preparation, what would be some of the mistakes, perhaps, that you felt you made, or some of the things which might not be mistakes, but you feel I could have done this part better, yeah. or I could have started this earlier, or I could have delayed this, I could have prioritized better, whatever it is. What is some of that that you might want to suggest to students out there? See, uh, first, uh, I would say that um, when I was uh, appearing for VRC, um, I did get disheartened that uh, now VRC is not happening. The thing is that for any given student, if you see. not all three sections are going to be uh, very well okay for uh, one section would be that this is going to be the game changer this is going to which uh, which is going to get me marks this one is going to sink me i need to keep this afloat and this one is uh, if i improve it it might help me so yes you're not supposed to get disheartened if you're not going well in one section you're supposed to focus your energies on which section uh, is going to um, give you the most returns you know so i like to rephrase that you know i always state uh, the way i like to call it is cat is an exam where you need to focus on your area of strength yes. not on your area of weakness absolutely and become an absolute stud in the area of strength yes. don't just be good at it yes. just being good at your area of strength is not good enough yes be a stud true. there remaining clear the sectional good enough yeah done is that something that you yes, are also I, trying to state yeah definitely because i i knew that i would get 50 plus marks in my quant and remaining i've stated that 50% marks i need to manage from the rest two sections but i need to get 50% marks in quant now there is no scope over there ah that's the key 
वन इज एनालाइजिंग एंड स्टेटिंग ये चाहिए सेकंड इज पुटिंग इन दी एफर्ट टू एंश्योर दिस रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द लेवल ऑफ डिफिकल्टी ऑफ द पेपर दैट मीन्स प्रैक्टिसिंग इन ऑफ टेकिंग डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मॉक्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सेक्शन एंड सोन लवली एनीथिंग एल्स दैट यू वुड लाइक टू रिकमेंड फ्रॉम अ मिस्टेक्स परस्पेक्टिव और से यू नो Uh, a learning perspective that you yeah. might have had in the process see um i would say that um, some people like uh, you might when you're scrolling websites you might feel uh, see that there are some formulas for quant i would say that don't really run for formulas okay you can always they can always change the basics of the questions and these formulas will won't be of any purpose yeah. in fact they can even screw you they can mess your question you might get confused and with that timer kick, kick like going down yeah, you can yeah. just explode over there so i was said it always approach quant uh, quant problems from the basics and they will always get you there Absolutely. they are not very lengthy problems where formulas will make the process easier or quicker for you so approach from the basics i would say that this is a learning which many people can take for quant in sync i think completely in sync so this through this entire process i'm sure like you pointed out you know doing verbal motivation levels went down and did go off to well lrd also didn't go maybe during phase 2 also sometimes you might have been feeling yaar yeah. motivation level utna aa nahi raha how did you keep yourself motivated what was that one thing that helped ensure that you know at every point in time you were focused towards that goal when you know that this is what's going to make your career go now when you have already eliminated some options i think that's a good enough motivation that this is what i have in hand what i have in my hand now lovely so basically dearth of options this is the only thing and let's stay focused at it um yes i mean initially it can be uh, like you don't want to uh, you don't want to do other options and that's why you're focusing on that but then if you're going to just think that this is the only thing then it can might even increase your stress levels ah, correct. Uh, over there so that's yes that's what i was about to ask you uh, no. <laughs> okay <laughs> no when i said that uh, this is a good enough motivation it's like yes i mean this is what's going to keep you concentrated on that you're not exploring now uh, suddenly like one month patio cat it's not that now you're exploring other options but then don't feel very uh, restricted that this is my only option that that's just going to increase your stress lovely i like that i like that and how is it with respect to the family and friends and all did they keep you pepped up did they ensure that your motivation levels were or they were like akele chhod dete she always knows what to do she knows how to prepare so let's not disturb no no which one was it <laughs> no obviously my family my mother and father were uh, always there for me they were supporting me uh, if i would score uh, low in the, uh, low in any mock they would be like so you would it's discuss okay. it with them yeah i would discuss like, uh, yes um, my parents they would even they would see previous year uh, with the trends and all and they, they would say that fine uh, what went wrong over there what was there um they did not let me um go very down when i did not do well they don't let me go very, very high important. when i did very well so they did keep me sort of balanced. grounded balanced yeah lovely very important so one last question for you you know uh, that is predominantly oriented to what would be those two to three suggestions that you would have for all the students out there who are looking at preparing for cat 23 or beyond cat 24 uh, some of them might be fresher some of them people with work experience so what would be some of the few suggestions that you would have for them so that they can go ahead and put their best foot forward uh, so uh, i would say that first of all don't think about a profile when you're preparing for your cat or, or for your mba that fine uh, you need this many marks in your 10th this much percentage in your 12th this in your undergraduate if you want to make it to some of the universities because frankly these are not in your control anymore now okay you just have your cat uh, exam in front of you so i was saying that uh, first suggestion is that you're supposed to focus completely on your cat second is uh, i was saying that don't take your pi lightly don't take your wat lightly okay they, like interviews we think that they are going to ask us and we are going to say but it does not always work like that okay so these are the two things which uh, i would say that uh, you should definitely focus on third is um, in quant specifically i would say that don't run after formulas okay approach from the basics they'll always get you over there yeah golden words from the golden girl here uh, you know i i hope this was a session that filled you with a lot of motivation this was something that inspired you i'm sure many of you all were in the same boat as nigda was a few months back and now hopefully few months down the line year down the line you'll be in the same boat as she is today which means sitting here across me having this conversation and hopefully meeting her as a senior at iim ahmedabad within uh, within a year or so So please join me in congratulating Snigda once again. Congratulations, Thank Snigda, you. from all of us here for making us proud and for making your family proud. And all the very best. I'm sure you're going to put your best foot forward and have a wonderful career in front of you. Do stay in touch with us. Keep motivating students like sure. you did. And I'm quite sure you know things will go as planned. All the very best. Thank you.